Hey everybody and welcome back to our Let's Play of 80 Days with Nerdstalgic. So, so far it looks like we've traveled 265 miles. Um, yeah, so I'm not really sure, it doesn't look like this game has a, like, a hard save setting where I can go in and I can say, save the game here, and then exit. It looks instead like it auto-saves at certain points, so what we're gonna have to do, uh, at the, when we end our videos, probably, I'm guessing, is end our videos at the start of a new day, just to make sure that it gets auto-saved, um, and that whenever I restart a video, like, come back into the game, um, that we don't lose any progress because I'm, I'm scared right now that if I were to close the game and come back into the game we'd have to replay through all the dialogue and you know guys that's just not really too fun for you or for me so you know like I always say if I'm not having fun you're not gonna be having fun so yeah I don't really like to replay things so what we're gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and knock out a second video here um, so it says uh, character is dependable that's me manner collected collected and dependable my valeting is remarkable my relations with fog is comfortable we've been to one out of 169 cities cool all right so we can share that i don't really think we need to share uh, what's that happen apologies your journey cannot be shared make sure you have connected to the internet since starting the current journey and trying it well, we're on the internet i know i'm on the internet I guess we we'll cancel. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, I think it's highly likely they're ex expensive. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. New routes discovered. All right. So we are currently at uh, Paris. The clock is ticking. We must decide our next steps quickly. We can uh, go to the hotel. At a day, we can depart now. We can go to the market. Let's go to the market. Uh, Rue Claire. Tucked away in the seventh arrondissement is my favorite market street. We've got some wine, a shaving kit, geometry equipment, traveling cloak. We can sell some things here. I don't think we want to sell that. I'm gonna keep the. So there's really nothing we could, nothing we want to sell here. We could buy an extra suitcase for ten pounds. Why don't we buy an extra suitcase? We buy an extra suitcase. They don't have an extra suitcase. Oh, maybe we just drag it down here and it automatically does it. Shaving kit, huh? Uh, yeah, we need a shaving kit. Geometry equipment valuable in Copenhagen, Warsaw, and Budapest. Uh, ooh, that's worth a lot in Berlin. Uh, part of the gentleman traveler set. Well, we need a cloak. And uh, let's take this wine. Ooh, worth a lot. Worth a lot. Okay, and uh, geometry equipment. And... I don't know. Ah, uh, we'll skip it. Skip it. All right. So it looks like we have to let's let's plan. Let's go plan. Let's do a little planning. Interesting. Okay. So uh, does this mean we so we can go uh, this way, this way, or this way? Hmm. What do we have in our suitcase again? Cancel. Can I look in my suitcase? I want to look at my suitcase. There it is. Did we bought this? It's worth twenty three hundred pounds in Berlin. Can we get to Berlin? Can we get to Berlin? I want to do some planning. Where's Berlin? There's Berlin. We need to get to Berlin. Let's go to Munich. Yeah, let's go to Munich. The Orient Express departs from Munich in two days at six p.m. I think this departure could be altered. We could negotiate. We could just go to Amsterdam and try to go to Berlin. The private car departs for Amsterdam tomorrow before five. So we'd lose five health. It can take one suitcase though. That's a problem. See, we have two suitcases now. Oh, that can only take one suitcase as well. That can take five though. Hmm. Can this one be... Uh, it appears we cannot go this way today. Well, this is leaving... Uh, this is leaving in two days. What does negotiate do? The traveling clock from our gentleman traveler set should spur them on. Oh, if we trade the traveling cloak, uh, we could get them to leave today. 
And, yeah, it would take 140 pounds. Yeah. How about we, um... How about we just go ahead and we'll stay at the hotel. Pass the night here. Took a hotel for the night. We'll be comfortable here, Monsieur Fogg remarked, but traveling overnight will often be more efficient. Um, yeah, so we must board the longest journeys available. Perhaps he replied the short answer indicating, I think, that one-day journeys might often be more flexible in their timing and could allow for more connections. Still, the surrounds of the Hotel Ritz were most enjoyable. All right, so it's the next day. Um, this opens at 10. This opens at 7. Don't drop those cases. Don't drop those cases. Maybe we'll go to the market again. You gotta act quickly, because when you go places, time speeds up. Okay, so... Huh. We almost have all of the uh, Englishman's wardrobe there, don't we? <coughs> Gentlemen Traveler set. Alright. Uh, let's wait until the bank opens up. I want to see what... You know, what can we do at the bank? What can we do at the bank? I feel kind of... I feel like, uh, kind of... Like, maybe having two suitcases is not a good idea. If, uh... If it's gonna, like, prohibit us from going on certain routes, that kind of sucks. I guess we could sell some stuff out of our one suitcase. Oh, okay. That's how you zoom out and zoom in. Ah, look at all those cars. Neat. Neat. Okay, let's uh, check out the bank in 15 minutes. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Alright, what do we want to do at the bank? Bank. What can we do at the bank? We must visit the bank, Monsieur Fogg declared. You have additional funds. A robbery, Monsieur? No. I'm a gentleman. They would extend me credit if required, he replied. But do you suppose I put my entire fortune in a, into a carpet bag under your supervision? Uh, I did not answer. I regarded the bank as we entered. The manager. The bank as we entered, yeah. It was a palace of stone and shimmering marble floors with beautiful windows, fountains, and plants. You wish to withdraw funds, we were told. I warn you, it may take some time. So we could get out a thousand pounds tomorrow, three thousand uh, pounds next Tuesday, or five thousand pounds in a week. Um, well, I'm thinking about leaving today. It will take too long. I informed the manager. We swept out of the bank. Thankfully, our situation is not desperate. My master declared onwards. Yeah, we've we've still got quite a bit of money. All right, let's uh, go. Let's just depart. Okay, so we could go to Amsterdam via. Oh, these are other players! How neat! Alright. Could go by private car to Amsterdam, Munich, Orient Express. Hmm. Let's go to Amsterdam. The roof, car's roof has space for one suitcase. We have two. We can hire a second car for 44 pounds. Uh, or we can open our luggage and uh, move that around. Well, it only costs 44 pounds. Let's hire a second car. Um, the car's roof has space for four suitcases, which is ample. Uh, the open road, this would be a bothersome experience. Well, you know, that's okay. Builds character, right? So we're going by private car. Actually, two private cars. Uh, to Amsterdam so that we can carry all of our belongings. We're in hopes that we can make it to Berlin and sell this wine uh, so that we can net a substantial windfall of money. We found a member of the Coachmakers Guild to carry us to Amsterdam. She loaded the cases onto the back, stoked the boiler, and took off at high speed along the coastal roads, swerving around each corner with considerable skill and, I think, a touch of showmanship. I clung on tight. This would be a terrific ride. Relations with Fog have deteriorated slightly. So I guess he's not uh, enjoying the ride. So we can wait or we can converse. Let's converse. Greetings, driver. I cannot drive well if you were talking to me. Um, okay, well, let's ask her about Amsterdam. I'm very interested in Amsterdam. The canals of Amsterdam are no longer lined with gold. What about uh, this one? Amsterdam to Berlin. I believe so. Berlin can be reached from Amsterdam by private car, but the journey is a tiring one. Hmm. What about Berlin to... What's this place? Probably Saritzen? 
talk a lot, don't you? <laughs> she basically just said, shut up. Shut up, dude. That's Warsaw, actually. Yeah. Thinking we might go this way. Maybe. We'll see. Okay. Uh, looks like we have exhausted our options in terms of talking. Is this us? Once or twice, the metal rimmed wheels lifted the chassis clear from the road on one side, only to bump down after a chuff and puff more of the engine. Uh, we were jolted around like so much poultry, or we must have topped 40. Woo! We must have topped 40, perhaps even 50 miles an hour. Uh, a fabulous way to travel. The Polish inventor Bozek, who had first attached a perfectly decent locomotive engine underneath a flimsy wooden crate, was clearly a genius. Uh, such cars were growing in popularity. My good friends, if I were not destined to be a valet until the day, I have gray hairs in my ears. Starting from their use in farmsteads and extending up through the classes. It was said the King of Sweden now drove one, or these were there were those who said such contraptions would soon be privately owned. Though presumably only to show solidarity with the beleaguered potato farmers. As we rattled along, I spoke to our driver about what lay ahead and learned that the most efficient way to Vienna is via Munich. The evening jacket could earn us well here, so we could sell the evening jacket. Let's look at our plan. So I, we're going to go to Berlin uh, for sure. Do we need to go to Vienna? It's like, do we do we have to go to Vienna? Did I miss something there? That we have to go to Vienna? I don't think we have to. Maybe we do. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, back to current location. Let's just go ahead and grab a hotel. And then we can, uh, seems like he's saying that maybe we could sell the jacket. Though the people of Amsterdam move about its canal-sized streets with a sense of optimism and good cheer. Um, yeah, our own mission left little time for pleasantries. I found a street peddler who greeted me with a cheerful smile beneath a caterpillar-like mustache. Um, what's the fastest way on from here, I asked. Car, I suppose. The roads are good, the canals used to be better, but now they seem almost out of date, he sighed. It is a curse to be rich in the past. By the time the future rolls around, you are poor again. Uh, maybe you'll be rich again sometime, I remarked, more from sheer optimism than any true conviction. The peddler reached around his pocket. Buy an apple, one pound. Uh, sure. I bought it and took it with a smile. We are going around the world. What's the cheapest way out of the city? I thank the peddler and moved on. Let's just thank him and move on. So many choices. All that remained was to choose how to best depart. Your funds have gone down to touch. Well, we already know we're going to be going. Uh, we're going to be going to Berlin. All right. So he was saying, I think that the evening jacket would uh, would sell well here, but. Ooh, now we have three suitcases. Um, but like, I don't really know that we're like hurting for money. I mean, we have 3,500 pounds. We're about to sell this wine in Berlin for quite a bit, so I don't think we're going to sell the evening jacket. Uh, we can explore. Might as well see the city. Hmm, interesting. It took a few hours to explore, investigating the various options for how we might continue our journey. You can manage another case, can't you? So maybe he's saying to go to the market. So we can get wool trousers, part of the Englishman's wardrobe set. So that would, uh, <laughs> those are the trousers that we got rid of. Might as well get them back. Lost Rembrandt. Whoa! That's worth a ton of money in Munich. A ton of money. That's a lot of money. We're going to take it. European carriages list. Yes. So that's going to add some routes. Hopefully, uh, yes, that's what I was looking for. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So what we're going to do is, I think we're going to hit Munich and then go up to Berlin. Maybe. God, look at all these routes that we're discovering because we bought that thing, I think. We're not going to be going this way. We're going to the east. I think Munich arrives Monday, arrives Sunday. Ooh, so maybe Berlin, Munich, this one? 
Today's Friday, though. Hmm, how could we get there? The private car departs for Berlin tomorrow at 8 a.m. Can take two suitcases. Gonna hurt us. How about this one? This one can take four. It's a river barge. Yeah, we're gonna take the river barge. Because it's not gonna cost any health, and it can take four suitcases. If we do this, we're gonna have to hire two cars. This one's cheaper, too. It's gonna take a little bit more time, but... Uh, I think it's worth it. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna depart on the river barge. Yes, yes. All right. So I don't think we need to go to the. Well, I guess we can always. Oh, it's clo it just closed. Oh, you damn bankers with your bankers hours. <coughs> All right. Uh, let's just go to the hotel. Pass the night. With what remained of the day, I buffed and shown my master's pocket watch, or I went to stretch my legs. Well, you know, we probably need to spend some extra time with uh, our master to ensure everything was ship shape for our upcoming departure. Relations with fog have strengthened slightly. All right, let's depart, and we want to take the river barge. The hold of the barge has space enough for four suitcases, and this will be a bearable route. Go. And away we go. It's going to take some time, but that's okay. We boarded a small barge docked by the canal side. Monsieur of Fog appeared skeptical. Our goal, he reminded me, is to circumnavigate the entire globe in less than three months. This boat, to me, looks capable of less than walking speed. Uh, I assured him we would make swift progress. Well, let's just, yeah. Though I was not sure how I'd arrange it. Very good, he replied, accepting my word on the matter. The rope was released and we took off from the bank and began very slowly to pace our way down the river. <laughs> well, let's converse. Greetings, Geert. Good day there. I am the pilot, yes. Uh, let's talk about Munich to Berlin. The route from Munich to Berlin is timetable. Speaking of carriages, I understand one can travel from Delhi to Agra, but the journey is a tiring one. Alright. Is there anything else we can learn here? I wish I could, like, look at the... Well, I just took a screenshot. <laughs> okay. Nice. Um, let's talk about uh, Berlin to Prague. Most likely not. So you can't go from Berlin to Prague. What about Berlin to Irkutsk? Maybe. There is neither bank nor market in Irkutsk. So it's kind of a small town. New routes discovered, so from Kabul to Lahore to Delhi to... I didn't see it. There must, my master reflected thoughtfully, be some way to make this barge move a little faster. It is powered after all. Indeed, there's a boiler and a panel. I'm no mechanic monsieur, so I'm going to hit that up because I think he's pissed off at me. He nodded. See to it. I opened my mouth and closed it again. <laughs> Please, monsieur, I cannot achieve miracles. And if it cannot be done. Well, you know what? We're doing it. There was no use arguing with him. I left the cabin and went up on deck. It was certainly true that we were crawling. We had left the canal and joined the Rhine, and working against the current, the boat seemed to be barely moving at all. So I took myself to the front of the boat and did nothing. I went to talk to the pilot. I went to look at the boiler. Let's talk to the pilot. While revealing my purpose might make her uncomfortable, it was possible she knew a way to achieve my master's goal. So we can say, how does the barge work? Is there any way to go faster? What's the fastest? Well, maybe if we butter up with a little bit of small talk, it'll kind of ease the blow. Pilot shrugged. It's steam powered, obviously. There's a paddle wheel underneath. I think that's it. Um, it's kind of funny because it says uh, she and then he. I thanked him. Uh, let's say, is there, what's the fastest this boat can go? About this fast, she replied. You can do a little more if you shut the flue on the boiler and keep the steam in. I slunk away to try it, <laughs> finding the flue in the boiler room easily enough. It took just a moment to flip shut. The response from the engine was immediate. It began to roar inside with a deep, throaty sound, and the boat began to plume through the water. My master would be most pleased. I personally am a little worried that, like, the boat's going to explode or something. <laughs> All right. So we're getting it now. Oh, yeah. Look at us moving fast. I woke to find we had made excellent progress overnight. Monsieur Fogg was overjoyed. He tied his own cravat. 
even combed his own mustaches. Munich by this evening, he remarked, a very good outcome. Uh, I could not help but bask in his pride, or indeed, Monsieur. We're gonna we're gonna play the role of uh, you know, the calm, collected. Indeed, I answered demurely, content, content in my knowledge of a job well done. Uh oh. It was that moment, of course, that the boiler decided to overheat. The stove pipe blew off the back of the boat, and we slowed to a full halt. Uh, to say my master's mood sank, I raced above the seat of the problem, but it was clear there was no easy solution. The barge pilot was scratching her head with an adjustable spanner. I can't see how it happened, she sighed. I had tuned the engine just right. Um, I confessed my action. The pilot was not furious, but clearly somewhat disappointed. Well, sir, I'll fix it, but please don't do that again. I assured her vigorously I would not, Monsieur Fogg, or no Monsieur Fogg. Uh, it was not until evening that the barge began to move once more. So relations have deteriorated. I don't know what that kind of what that plays, you know. But uh, apparently, there's it plays somehow into the game. The barge moved across the steady waters, not too fast and not too slowly. There was nothing else for us to do. So Monsieur Fogg involved himself with the newspaper, and I passed the time studying. Different ways to fold linen or the apparel of passers-by. Let's check out all these passers-by. German fashion is a little behind Parisian styles, but it has a certain balance of practicality and flourish that I confess I admire. There are certainly more women who have embraced dress reform here than in London. I counted only a tenth in corsets, if that. Your character is now courageous. Nice. You're quite the, quite the flamboyant type, I see. Paris World Fair, a roaring success. Cool. So I think we actually ended up getting there later than we originally thought we would because I screwed it up. We moored at a dock close to Munich and closed the remaining miles in the back of a Bozek car, a design much the same as the boat, but on wheels still. At least I was not responsible for its slowness. We arrived in Munich just as night was falling. We're probably not going to be able to do anything here uh, tonight. Well, maybe we can. Um, wasn't it the lost Rembrandt that would sell for a ton here? Yeah, very good. European train. We want that. Um, can we carry this? No, we can't. Um, well, what should we do here? What should we do? We've got a bunch of European stuff here. Maybe we should sell the uh, sell the playing cards. Humorous, stalwart, official, and soldier types. Eh, let's get rid of the apples. Get the magnifying glass. It's worth in Dubrovnik, Venice, and Budapest. This is worth a lot in Berlin, but the problem is, um, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to make it to Berlin because we are on day eight. We're like already 10% of the way through the trip and we've made it like almost nowhere. So we're going to have to put some uh, time between us. I don't think we're going to be able to get to Berlin, but maybe we could head towards Budapest or Dubrovnik. I, don't, I think Venice would be a little bit of a backtrack. New routes discovered, Berlin to Warsaw. The magnifying glass should help with the finer print of international editions. So there's Budapest right there. Interesting. Let's look at our plan here. Alright, so there's Budapest. Um, there's Dubrovnik. Where is... Yeah, I don't even... There's Venice. Arrives Thursday. Departs in two days. Departs tomorrow. Arrives on Saturday. Whew. Arrives Saturday. Um, uh, yeah, I think we're going to go to Budapest. That's what I think we're going to do. What is it? Oh, okay, okay, okay. So it goes here and then goes here. There's no direct route, so we'd have to go to Vienna. And then for, go from Vienna to Budapest. Budapest. Unless there's no route from there. So that would depart tomorrow and arrive tomorrow. The earliest departure is not until tomorrow. So that would arrive on Saturday. 
arrives Thursday, but we could negotiate the departure. That arrives Saturday. Hmm. Only can take two suitcases. That can take two suitcases. All right, let's. We're gonna probably go to Venice and then go to Budapest. Budapest. Okay, I think that's what we're gonna do. All right, let's uh, stay a night in the hotel. We'll pass the night here. And I think that's a pretty good place for us to put a cut in. So, wow, this game is a lot of fun. And I'm probably doing it very, very wrong and very, very poorly. But you know what? There's a lot of replay value in this game. And if, if it was easy, then it probably wouldn't be as fun. If there wasn't that element of like, oh shit, I'm not going to make it. <laughs> so, the, I think the real, the real thing is balancing spending your money versus like flitting around everywhere selling things. Like... You have to strike the balance there. So, being that this is my first playthrough, maybe I'm going the doing the wrong thing. So we'll see. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, game on.